something called a looping pendulum. Now we can make this with a variety of materials, but I'm going to start off using a coffee mug, a short length of string, and a lead weight, and we're going to hang it over this bar, and I'm going to release this. Well, we would expect the coffee mug to go down and shatter against the table. But watch what happens. It doesn't. Well, what's going on here? Let's take a closer look. It appears that the small weight is going up and wrapping around the pole and stopping the cup just short of hitting the table. This could be a good demonstration for students to investigate. They could use washers or nuts and investigate the ratio of the lightweight to the heavyweight. We found a pretty good ratio of about 14 to 1. Other variables to investigate would be the ideal angle to release it from and also what is the ideal string length. Now let's see if we can get a better view of just what's going on in this demonstration. I've added a green LED light to the lightweight and a blue LED light to the heavyweight and then I'm going to record them in the dark and see what kind of results we get. Now let's try it in the dark. We can see the initial movement of the single weight is to swing down like a pendulum, but the heavier weight forces it upwards causing it to loop around the support. Friction stops the heavy weight from falling when that little weight is about the same height as the bar is. Now let's try it again with different colors. Once again we see the same result. As that weight wraps around the bar, the width of the path stays the same until it reaches the center. Now let's go on and try this experiment with some other materials. Here's a small pumpkin and a tiny weight. Let's see how this one works. Now let's try it on a larger scale. I have a 21 pound pumpkin, a pound and a half wrench, a 10 foot high, goal post and eight feet of rope. So let's see if it works on this. Here's another investigation we can try. Replace that single weight with two smaller weights and two strings. When I pull them out on the same side and release them, we see that they both act together as one, as seen by these two coils. And this is the result I get if I release them from the opposite sides of the bar. I also thought this might be fun to make into some type of game. For example, here's Homer Simpson and an axe. Obviously, the point of this would be to have Homer saved by the axe rather than get hit by it. Or you could have action figures do all sorts of dangerous stunts, like falling just above this bed of nails, keep from falling into a tank full of sharks, put on a fire suit and be suspended over a ball of flames, or keep it simple and see how close you can get to the table without actually touching it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, please subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for watching.